Yo! Video games. Uh, I will, I'm going to read a letter that was given to me. I don't know if the other dudes did this on their streams, but... Um, I'm going to read this letter from, from Mikey. Because he had a lot of questions. And this is about, it's basically the only time I'm really ever going to get to answer these questions. So... <laughs> um, Dear Simmons, how's everything been, dude? Meh. <laughs> he says, I can tell The Legend of Zelda is your favorite video game series. I enjoy it. I like the story and characters. It's the puzzles I have trouble with. Whatever. Mail time. It is a it is a mail time letter, yes. Um, do I know anyone who worked on Bleem? I'm curious to know the history. Uh, Bleem was basically just, I forget who, it was a small group of people who were basically trying to, to run a, an emulator on the Dreamcast to play all the PlayStation games, or most of the PlayStation games, or whatever. Um... Uh, but that there, there. I believe if you go to the gaming his the gaming historian has a whole video on Bleem's history. Um, okay, this is a good question. What would you do if you could make a Zelda game? What would and, and, and adding on to that, what would you do with the story? How would it play? Which timeline would it be in? Uh, now, there's a lot more questions beyond this, but uh, this is a really good question. Um, if I could make a Zelda game, what, what, what would I do? Uh, how would it play? What would the story be? If if I was given control of a Zelda game, uh, I would go uh, the, the Shining Force 3 route with it, is what I would do. Uh, I would... Um, I'll go to the Miiverse. Maybe I should go... Yeah, I'll go to the Miiverse. Just to have like, that kind of like floating in the background. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, here's that. Here's what I would do. With the Zelda game, what I would do is I would, I would go the, the Shining Force 3 route with it. And what I would do is that I would split the game into three segments. Um, each segment would be, you would be playing as, as Link, Zelda, or Ganondorf. They all have specific, um, not abilities, but they would basically have specific things they get. Now, it would start with, you do, you are in, uh, uh Faron with Link. It, it is very traditional. Um, and, and you have all of Faron to cut, to, to roam around in, but, uh, basically, uh, the plot of the game is, is sort of like, kind of like a civil war, basically, would be the idea. Um, <laughs> remove all traces of the goddess. I wouldn't even mention it. Um, basically anything Fujibayashi ever touched would, I would, I would never, I would never have. Um, and the idea would be basically that with Link, you would have him, and there would be three dungeons in, in, in Faron, and he would get three uh, items or weapons in those dungeons that would be specific to Link. And, um, in, so, so say he would get like maybe like the hook shot, bow and arrow, or boomerang, something like that. And then in, uh, um, uh, Elden, you would play as, as Zelda, and, uh, she basically would be, you know, her plot would basically be trying to to sneak away from the King of Hyrule, kind of like going against the wishes of him, but uh, doing like her own like secret mission, maybe maybe a sheik, maybe not. And she would have those abilities, and then you would have Ganondorf and Lanayru. And the plot line of what I would do story wise is I would originally set it uh, up as a sort of. Uh, sort of moral like end of a civil war thing with um with ganondorf basically saying like we are going to take over hyrule we are not going to be in stuck in this desert uh the king of hyrule basically is he's too old like the kind of the plot of the game in a way would be sort of just if i would have any theme it would be about the the folly of of sort of people's insistence on on tradition and history because I love history, but I mean, like, I hate in the fact where, like, people will hold on to something. 
and and taint that worldview or, or that opinion of, of them for, for all time kind of thing. So the whole point of the game would be sort of an allegory of our own real world in a sense where it's like nobody, I'm, I personally myself and, and nobody I know would ever look down on, say, anyone who's German because... You know, 70 years ago, they, you know, Germany was part of the, you know, we were all Nazis. I don't consider Germans Nazis. I don't consider German people Nazis. I don't consider them bad people. And I don't, and I don't hold the people alive in Germany today accountable for, for the atrocities committed by a generation or two behind them. So that's kind of the idea I would do with Zelda, where the, the King of Hyrule wants to keep the Gerudo completely outcast from Hyrule. Uh, Zelda's younger and she's kind of like, I want to try to negotiate a peace. The king says no peace can be, can, can happen. Like, the Gerudo have done this in the past. It's been like this, blah, blah, blah. Um, so her thing is she wants to set up a secret mission. Ganondorf is kind of like, he's, he's just sort of like filled with sort of rage at the, at the first point. And he wants to, you know, he just wants to take over. And basically, it would be sort of like this, this very gin, sins of the father. Yeah. Exactly, Asa gets. That would be like my idea story-wise would be to do to do that. Um, so that would be sort of like this sort of uneasy thing that happens where nobody truly wants to just, you know, destroy the world, but like everyone feels that they've been slighted in some way. And Link is actually, he, he's, um, he would actually have a higher political standing in Farron because Farron at this point would be like a republic. And he wants kind of separation. His his view is like I don't you know Hyrule you do you your thing, and and the Gerudo do their thing. He doesn't really have a dog in the fight, uh, but he kind of gets dragged into it because like Hyrule's trying to drag his people in, but it's like well the Gerudo have this history of being just these violent massacre you know rapist women, and it's like you know you shouldn't you should help us fight them. And Farron's like we don't want to be involved in your wars, but Hyrule's dragging them anyway, so no one's really good, no one's really evil kind of thing. Um, and Link is just kind of like, I want to stay out of this. I just, I just want to protect my, my people, my, 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 my village, my land. I don't want anything to do with any of this shit. Um, but he gets dragged into it. Uh, something sets him off on his quest. And the thing that sets, would set Link off on his quest would tie into the greater theme. Because once you complete all three areas, uh, Farron, Elden, and Laneru... They would all have their own abilities. Like Ganondorf would have like an ability of telekinesis. He would have uh, corruption. Ganondorf would be unique in a sense where it's like he could do like you know the physics-based shit, but he can also do like corruption-based shit where he can he can manipulate people's like NPCs' minds and shit like that. And he can um, he has like a reverse thing where instead of like Okami, where it's like oh you create you create flowers to bloom, he would he would corrupt stuff and corrode stuff so he could like remove obstacles and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Which again turned giant far cloud never speak no, so basically the whole thing would be at the end of it like because you would have three concurrent timelines and when you when you defeat all three of them kind of eternal darkness style you come to a point where you all realize that you're actually all being manipulated uh, by a greater force and that would be like the the, the mid game twist only it wouldn't be it would be like nine dungeons in at this point and I would actually want to have at least a couple more if not three more dungeons after that so 12 total dungeons and um after you've beaten all three scenarios you're free to, to play as any character in any part of the world and parts of Faron would be inaccessible to link but it, but would be accessible to ganon or zelda um so basically what happens is ganon kind of realizes that um first they come to this realization that a they're being manipulated um, and B, they kind of have to, you know, like, uh, like Oscar gets pointed out, like, you know, the, the sins of the father thing, like they've been, they're being manipulated and, and they have to kind of like put that down. Um, surprise crystal boss trap with a twist like that. <laughs> so no, like there would be like hints throughout that something, something is kind of orchestrating all of this. And, um, it would, the only tie in I would really have is that. Uh, I would actually would like to go with uh, a, a fourth piece of the Triforce, the middle piece, the little, and I would like there to be a fact that um, the twist I would like probably do is that that Hyrule lives in a system of balance, 
And once the Triforce is broken, that balance is disrupted. And the reason that balance is disrupted would be because uh, that the, the Triforce itself is holding back uh, basically an, an, an anti-Triforce, something that's a world killer. Because the Triforce is a symbol of the, the planet's prosperity, um, but if it's broken, you basically, potentially, you're, you're unlocking the ability to, to basically destroy the world in a sense. So... I wouldn't get too too far into that, but just sort of like the idea that it's like the only way that Hyrule can ever know a a path of, of not constant bloodshed is if they bring the Triforce into balance and not have it split up because it's actually holding something together. Like the whole world is held together by Din and Feror and, and Nehru. Um, it's being held together by the prosperity of the Triforce, but that's also holding back Sort of like the anti-life equation, if you will, of the, of the Zelda universe. Um, so that's uh, that's what I would do. And they would basically, there would be some, basically some some force, maybe even uh, um, an evil goddess or, 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 or something like that, that's more celestial, that's like Din, Ner Din, Nehru, and Ferora have kind of been dealing with throughout time. Maybe even something like, kind of like how like a coup was born of like all these gods and like celestial beings like trying to stomp out this evil in this universe or whatever. Um, but yeah, like there would be some sort of force and it wouldn't be demise. Um, if it was demise, I would only say it would be demise in the sense that I would actually have someone like Ganondorf kill demise just to put that, that ridiculous plot thread to rest. Um, but yeah, like maybe I would maybe go the route of something like there were four goddesses originally, but um, kind of like the Salazar Slytherin idea where like one of them just thought that the the lesser beings they created were not worthy of, of the divinity given to them by the uh, other three goddesses and was just like, you know what, um, basically <laughs> humanity was a mistake um, and, and she wanted to just basically... After she saw what Din, Feror, and Nehru were doing, she was like, "Human, you know what? Like they'll, these creatures will betray you. They're 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 too greed driven. They're too violent. They're too hate and rage filled. We, you know, they're a mistake. Get rid of them." And the other three goddesses were like, "No, like they deserve a chance. Like they, we gave them sentiency. They deserve the ability to ascend at some point." So that would be like where I would kind of go with that, um, if I were to do a Zelda game. The timeline it would be in would be in timeline B. Um, cause it's kind of the most unused timeline. It's, it's timeline with the least shit in it. <laughs> so that, that would be, uh, that would be where I would go with a Zelda story. Cause, um, uh, I wouldn't want to get too far into the whole goddess thing, really. I really want it to be more of a, you know, a, 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 a sins of the father kind of storyline. Um, so... Yeah, like like Star Wars is reverse Pandora's box. I hope that it whole, yeah. So that's what uh, that's what I would do with the Zelda game and a Zelda story. Uh, I would not have it be about you know an ancient evil that burst out of the ground one day and a hero was destined with the shining golden princess to hold back the evil. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to all, I take any plot that took more than twenty minutes to write. Yeah, exactly. Um, Something like that, uh, but yeah, that's that's what I would do with the that's what I would do with the Zelda game. Um, next question is: Do you ever watch the Zelda cartoon? I love it. It's funny, and I am bummed that it only had thirteen episodes. I would have liked the second season. It's funny to watch in retrospect, but uh, it's not good. <laughs> that's that's the problem with with it's dumb. <laughs> It's it's just dumb '80s cheese, and sometimes you're in the mood for for, for cheese, like a really good cheese sandwich. Uh, so it's quaint, but it's not fucking good. I would not I would not sit there and say it's on the level of Batman the Animated Series. No, it's it's dumb, but it's fun. Yeah, exactly. It was great when I was young, but now I'm like, what did I watch exactly? <laughs> I just I want a Mike style grown ass grizzled link. Well, Rasputin, Mike, he's not here to defend himself. He is writing a script, and he he says I don't know if we'll ever make this in our lifetimes or whatever. He has a Zelda script that's a sort of free form idea that's very sort of like oot based or post just post oot based. 
um, he wants to make a very small mini series, um, film them in, in 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 you know mostly mostly one location thing, um, and he explained the whole thing to me like on his birthday, and I was like it was cool, but I don't know how we do it, but yeah, he has a very um, Logan, I would call it like the Logan version, <laughs> um, maybe not. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't end with him dying, but I mean, a Logan version of, of Zelda without Link, without Link dying at the end. <laughs> I'll go homeless funding that shit if I have to. <laughs> um, did I ever play the Zelda CDI games? I kind of wonder what a new 2D Zelda game in Zelda 2 style would be like. Uh, I did. Um, I have a friend who has all three Zelda CDI games. I keep trying to get Max to to do it to to let's have a night where we play all three zelda and he's like yeah but they're terrible we don't want like so i need you guys to tweet to max that you want you want easy allies to come over with this the zelda cdi games and we want you want easy allies to come over and and marathon zelda cdi on your video games i need you to tweet max that you want to you want easy easy allies to come over and and uh, marathon the zelda cdi games or, or at least Mike from from Easy Allies. So I need you to do that to Max because I, I I've never been able to convince him to to, to do this. Uh, do you want Link and Zelda to get together at some point? No. Do you like Hyrule Warriors? No. <laughs> I like that it brought together characters from multiple timelines, and I like the gameplay a lot. A lot of people do. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm I'm a whore. Because I bought that game and the DLC just for fucking Marin. Um, <laughs> so, I'm a fucking whore that I did that, but I still did it. But, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm glad you liked the fanfic. I hope you are okay with me liking the Final Fantasy XIII trilogy. I enjoyed them. I hope for a real 713 crossover. Um, don't ever let me stop you liking something I don't like. Because, really, you're... The only, the only opinion on whether or not you like a video game or movie or anything, the only opinion that really truly matters is your own. So, whatever I or anyone else thinks about any video game, doesn't matter. It's about what you like. Uh, that's the only thing that's really important. So I've asked many Zelda questions, never. <laughs> I just want to know your thoughts. Where everything is going well and you keep doing what you're doing. Stay awesome from Michael. Thank you, Michael.